Hello, Cancers, and welcome back to my channel, Luma Moon Tarot. So, Cancers, um, I am here to do, you know what, I want to check into your current energies, right? And, um, and also take a peek into your May, okay? So, um, this reading is for the collective, so it's not going to be for all of you. Just take what does resonate and toss out the rest, Cancer. You know, you guys are pros at this now. Don't try to force any reading into your world, right? And thank you, Cancer, so, so much for all of your support, your likes, subscribes, comments, shares, donations. You know, honestly, I just love the love, guys, okay? Yeah, just keep sending me the good vibes, right? Um, thank you so much to all of my subscribers, my new Moonies. How does it feel to be a new Moonie, right? Does it feel different? Because it totally should. <laughs> it's the coolest thing in the world. So anyway, um, yeah, Cancers, I love you guys. All right, Divine, what can you show me for Cancer, Current Energy, and May? Current Energy and May, what do we have for Cancer? What's going on? All right. Okay, acceptance. Got a little bit of fear of change here, Cancer, okay? I feel like though you guys are going to the more the more love you give yourself, Cancer, okay? The more love you give yourself, the easier it's going to deal with the changes. I that's really the feeling that I'm picking up on. Um you know, getting those vibrations high, that's going to help with your self-esteem, your confidence. It's going to help you feel stronger. When you feel good about yourself, you feel strong, right? So, yeah, I feel like this is kind of advice for you in May, um, which is here already, kind of, right? We're at, we're at the very last day of, of April. So, um, start start really investing into you you know um pampering yourself maybe just a little uh some of you could be changing your hair color or wearing more lipstick you know i'm like the queen of lipstick <laughs> i am it's like the number one must have right um yeah some of you could be just getting out, out outdoors uh, flowers are blooming maybe where you are in may because it's spring in a lot of parts of the world here um yeah i feel like there's an acceptance about you though right about now <laughs> right current energies and may okay um and i feel like you're releasing some things here cancer and just accepting that um you know, the divine is with you. You're being led. I feel like you're picking up on the messages and really, truly listening, like really tuning in. You know what I mean? Um, and I feel like you're fully aware that um, you and your partner here, I feel like are, are in separation. Um, but I'm, I'm really getting that this is the hand of the divine. Okay. Um, you guys are co-creating, communicating with each other, and you know you have to release this. This could have been, you know, wishes. Multiple people it could have been. You're releasing people and situations, I feel, and accepting that um, it's just time to, for you to keep growing, right? This is your time now. It's your time. All right, so whatever it is that you've been building, you've been growing a foundation here. And honestly, a lot of you could be working online because I'm seeing the roots wrapping around the whole entire world. So, you know, the World Wide Web, right? Um, so you could be growing something online. It could be taking you some time here, but you have to remember it's all going to start with a solid foundation. So the work that you've been putting in, I feel, is about to sprout and take off and grow and bloom here. So are you. So are you. Now is a time of healing, feeding yourself, and focusing on whatever it is that you're growing, okay? Um, releasing the things that aren't for you anymore the things from the last cycle whatever whatever you're being led to release here I feel like you're doing that um there is a fear here though <laughs> there is a fear here for you cancer and I, it's a fear of change like everything all of a sudden 
all of a sudden there's going to be a whole lot of changes going on and i feel like you can feel this coming and that's what scares you um it may not be the fact that you, i feel like you'll be able to handle it because you know how flexible you are you see this you know how flexible you are and um i don't know if you're resisting this change or what but um yeah there's like a you can feel a lot coming really fast okay uh and i think that's what you're afraid of here but you're gonna be building your confidence and taking good care of yourself like drink plenty of water and eat the right things some of you could be switching to a more natural diet you know um getting outside getting fresh air feed yourself so that when all of this stuff happens it's gonna feel like everything's happening all at once and it kind of will be okay um when all of this starts happening cancer you're gonna be rejuvenated and you'll have the ability to be flexible enough to kind of roll with it because i i you know things need to be stirred up and redirected to get you where you're going okay to get you more growth all right this journey just because the cycle's over doesn't mean your journey's over okay there's going to be a lot of changes here very very soon um you know so get ready i, I think a lot of you are fearful you know maybe you could be moving to a different part of the world um I see you, though, in a cocooning stage here, okay? Getting prepared for these changes that are coming. That's really what I'm seeing. All right, so let's, let's dig in with the tarot, right, guys? All right, Divine, what can you show me? What's going to be going on around Cancer? Currently and in May. Currently and May. Right? April, May. Yeah. <laughs> Currently and in May. What's going on around cancer? What messages do you have for cancer? Current energy and May. Oh boy. Third party situation stuff. Somebody's feeling heartbroken here, but unless it hurts really bad to get this acceptance and release, finish releasing what you need to release. I really don't feel like this is your energy, Cancer, I gotta say. I gotta say. I, I feel like you're releasing here. <laughs> Not hanging on to something heartbroken. Third party situation. Somebody has a decision to make in love. You could be dealing with the Gemini. Um, this could be your twin flame here that's feeling like this. Because quite honestly, every if you look at this card... I feel like this was a connection that was supposed to come to be, right? I feel like it was supposed to happen. It was supposed to be for you. And and this person, they've had a choice to make in love. And instead, they've been standing here just staring at you. Um, their eyes are all sunken and dark. It's like they've lost a lot of sleep. They're not sleeping at night. They're, this is, I can't eat, I can't sleep. All I think about is you. Um, all they think about is you, and this is them, you know, saying I've got to make a decision here when it comes to who I want to be with because they can't stop thinking about you. This is somebody who can't shake this connection. They can feel you releasing their energy, okay? They can feel all of these changes happening too, Cancer. Everybody has intuition. Um, and I feel like this person's feeling pretty heartbroken because... You're being led to keep moving forward here. Ooh, that plopped out in reverse. This person can see this connection very clearly. Very clearly, Cancer. Um, 
Yeah. I don't usually get the hangman in reverse. We haven't very often, but this time, this person is starting to write themselves. They, they, you know, and it falls right underneath growth. I feel like once this person, it's almost like they're coming to an understanding of this connection and what it is. It's like, um, you know, they've been in this mode this whole time, stuck upside down in things. Um, but seeing things from a different perspective, now it's like they just know. They just know that this is the connection um, that they're never going to be able to shake. And that is growth for this person. Okay? Um, this is them wanting to get unstuck. This is them starting to get, you know, upright in their life. Okay? Okay? Because they're realizing a lot. They did do a lot of thinking here, Cancer. A lot. And I feel like now this person wants to invest into, into this. Um, you could be dealing with... Uh, I've got Gemini, Pisces, and Virgo out here, guys. Um, and with this Hermit, you know... That's all that this person is thinking about. That's all they're thinking about is this connection and that it, it could be a divine connection here with the lover's card, I've got to say. Could be a very spiritual, deep level soulmate connection. And it's the fact that this person just can't seem to get it off of their mind. They can't. They haven't been able to this whole time, I feel. Um, yeah. I feel like um, they've invested a lot of time thinking about this, shedding the light on this, and now it's like they want to move forward. Um, I, I kind of get that feeling that they want to they want to snap out of this hangman position and start taking action and start giving something to this here. All right, so what else can you show me for cancer in May? Ooh, these want to come out. Yeah. After a very long time of just standing around, I feel like this person really, they were kind of, they were upside down, feeling stuck. I feel like they were seeing this from a different perspective. They've, they've never been able to shake this connection, okay, for real. Um, while they were stuck, though, I feel like they were kind of waiting here for their ships to come in, waiting. To, I feel like they were waiting to hear from you. They're realizing after after a very long time of thinking about this that they're not going to hear from you. They're going to have to come forward. And that makes this um, an offer that's that's taken this person too long, way too long. I feel like it's because they were hoping to hear from you, but they're not. They're realizing that here, that their stagnancy and being upside down really didn't serve a purpose for them. It, it actually uh, could have cost them this connection. Yeah, and now they're all butthurt about it because now they've got to take some action. Yeah, and they're terrified. They're freaking terrified. <laughs> I always see this person here all squished up, guarding themselves, you know, um, with a brand new beginning on the top of their brain and guarding their heart because they don't want to get hurt because they know they hurt you. I, I feel like they, they kind of waited this situation out at thinking that you were going to come towards them and communicate to them and that that didn't happen. And now this person just waited a bit too long. And they may have missed this opportunity with you. And they know it. And they're, they're really, uh, they're, they're pouty, you know. They're pouty. Um, kind of being a baby head about it. Yeah, so now they know they've got to communicate with you. Ooh, feeling like a fool, though. Oh, man. Yeah, um... They're scared. <laughs> They're really scared. They're kind of like sitting in, I'm picturing somebody sitting in this chair just shivering, okay? 
because they played, I don't know if it was a game or just this is somebody who just thought that you would you would come towards them and try to communicate, but you never did. I feel like they may have watched for a sign or something, but you know what? You weren't paying attention to them this whole time. You were listening to the divine and being picked up from the ground, basically. I feel like they, uh, they've spent a lot of sleepless nights thinking about this, okay? I'm telling you. Yeah, you've, you've blocked this communication now. You could have blocked this person, like, you know, social media or their phone number, or whatever. Yeah. Ed, you're just not talking. You're not speaking at all. You didn't talk to this person. You didn't approach them. You haven't said a peep. They haven't heard a peep from you. So, yeah, they're scared because they don't know what to expect here. Um, but this person wants to communicate. They want to communicate, I'm telling you, and that they're terrified. I want to clarify this, though. Clarify this third-party situation, heartache. Toxic situation. But are they still in it? Clarify the devil. That's not good. Clarify the page of wands. I don't want to say it yet. So, yeah, a lot of yeah, defensiveness. Speaking their truth. The truth is coming out. This person is speaking their mind in this toxic situation. Okay, so they had you in a third party, I feel, Cancer. that This person um, was with someone very, very toxic. That's the choice that they had to make. Either the devil or, or um, you right? And I feel like they chose the devil. You stopped talking to this person. You just were, you were like, oh, you're going to choose, you're going to choose someone else. Okay, I'm out. That's kind of what you did. And you went and worked on you. Um, and this person, you know, I don't like the page of wands here because that's sometimes an STD card for me. There could be a lot of rumors and upset, too, in, uh, you know, rumors, lies. Um, that kind of thing being spread that this person now has to defend themselves. Or just immaturity. Yeah, they want this new beginning with you, I feel. They don't want to be there anymore. I feel like they could have been with somebody who was extremely immature as well. I feel like there's been gossip. Um, yeah. Clarify the devil. Manipulation. You could be dealing with the Virgo, Capricorn, Aries. Yeah, I feel like I feel like they were manipulated here. I feel like this person, yeah, they're in a lot of regret. You move for you move forward from this person. They I feel like they were they could have already been in a toxic situation when they met you, when they found you, right? And I feel like they had in and out energy here, very immature. You could have met this person at work, okay? You could have met them at work, or they could be a, a, a business owner, something like that. And I feel like you move forward here, and you, you know what? This person, they manipulated, and they turned their back on, on this soulmate connection, that Two of Cups, for, the, for a, toxic, a toxic relationship. That there wasn't any love in, okay? Yeah, and I feel like you just move forward. You're like, oh, okay, you're choosing someone else. Fine, you, you block this out. You listen to the messages from the divine, right? You kept, you just did, you didn't say a peep. They did not hear from you. That's a problem for your person right now because, he, you see, you're the empress, and I feel like now this person wants to commit to you. Yeah. 
Yeah, now they want to commit to you, Cancer, but like I said, they're scared. They are so afraid. Where is it? Yep. Look at, look. Oh, they're scared. <laughs> they're afraid to confront this because they know they're going to have to defend themselves. They, they know they've got a lot of explaining to do. They have to take accountability here for all for the ways that they've treated you and the things that they've done, how they manipulated you, how why they chose someone else over you, and now why do they want to come back in? I feel like be, it's because, you know, um, partly because you're abundant. You know, they know with you they could have a Ten of Pentacles kind of life, um, a really strong commitment that's built to last, and generational wealth, and a happy family, and comfort for the rest of their days. Because I feel like you already have this Ten of Pentacles, honestly, and I feel like you're kind of standing in front of it, like you're protecting it, like you're going to protect all that you have. I'm honestly, I'm not so sure that it's over over yet with this, this toxic situation that your person's in. I know they want a new beginning. I know they want to move forward, but I don't see any tower moment. I don't see any death card. I don't see that it's over over. Okay. And that's something that this person may also need to confront, and they don't really want to. They've been trying to wait that out as long as possible. They have waited everything out, but it's time for this person to get some courage. Okay? It is. And they're crying over this because, you know, they missed out on an empress, a ten of pentacles, a perfect kind of life here. They missed out. Yeah, this is how they're going to be feeling in May. I feel like you're going to be very abundant. You're going to be very committed to whatever it is that you're doing here. Committed to this throne. That's what you're doing. You're growing an empire, I feel, for yourself, Cancer. And that's what you're committed to in May for right now. Until this person, until they figure out what they want to do here, they know they've got to come forward. And um, seriously, they're going to be super stressed out. Like, this is, this is more stress. Well, this is just about as much stress as anybody can handle before it's man down. Okay? Yeah, all they're thinking about is how they treated you and how they lost you. Yeah. Let's see what they want to say, okay? Let's see what they want to say. And, you know, with everything going on, I feel like they can feel your energy pulling back because you're accepting and you're releasing, right? So that you can move forward. And you're going it alone here, I feel. So you are really afraid of the, of the changes that, that are coming here. I feel, even though they're, things may feel like they're being completely shaken up all at once. Cancer, I feel like these changes are going to bring, they're going to bring you into a way better way of life, okay? So do, I feel like you're going to accept that fact too and just roll with it. All right. What does this person want to say? I can't picture you with anyone else but me. I hope it's not too late. My life is not as together as it seems. I want you. Yeah, I feel like I feel like they do. They definitely do, Cancer. But this person, they need to get the courage to come forward, okay? Um, and be honest. I feel like they waited it out as long as they could because they didn't want to do this. But no, that, that approach is, it could be the hardest thing is making that first approach because they don't know how you're going to react. But 
this is something they have to do if they want you. Okay. Ooh, that wants to come out. I know you're upset with me and I'm upset with myself. I didn't want to, but I had to give you up. Sometimes at night, I think about the times we've spent together. You came closer than anyone. Yeah, anyway, Cancers, listen, that's what I've got for you for this quick little reading. Um, I hope this helps. I hope it resonates with you guys. Um, if you guys like this video, please click that like button. Subscribe to the channel if this is resonating with you and you like this vibe, right? Become a new Mooney, yes. And until next time, my darlings, take care of you, okay? And peace out.